Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So if you own an AirSpy product, such as the Mini or R2, then you can make use of this rather cool and simple to use ADSB decoder, which you can download for free from the AirSpy website. What's also nice about this is that this ADSB decoder is not only supported on Windows, but also four different Linux architectures. The decoder itself will automatically locate your AirSpy product, which is plugged into the computer, and it will start decoding ADSB frames straight away. Obviously, you will need a good ADSB antenna, which is center tuned for 1090 megahertz. If you're not sure what ADSB is, well, it's the packets of data that aircraft transmit, which contain altitude, position, bearing, and speed data. Now, using this information, we can plot aircraft onto a map. Now for the mapping software, we'll be using a free application called Virtual Radar Server. So first thing would be to download the decoder for your operating system. In this example, I'll be using Windows. Once downloaded and uncompressed, you'll see a few files located in the folder like this. Now making sure that you have your AirSpy SDR plugged into your computer and the antenna is attached, you can go ahead and double click on the virtualradar.batch file. Now this will launch the AirSpy ADSB application with specific application switches to be compatible with Virtual Radar Server. Once running, start the Virtual Radar software. Now if you don't have this installed, I'll leave a link in the description of where you can download this free of charge. So select Tools and then Options. On the left side menu, select Receiver Option. Here you'll change the format to AVR or Beast and then the port box, you will enter the port number 47806. Also, make sure that the enable tick box is checked. Click OK and the AirSpy ADSB window that you opened earlier should detect the connection. You'll now start to receive ADSB messages into Virtual Radar Server. So at this point, we're now ready to open the web browser to start tracking aircraft. Now, if all is working OK and you have a decent enough antenna, you should now start to see aircraft plotting and moving across the map. Now what's really nice about this solution is that it's just so easy and simple to use. Obviously, you do need an AirSpy product to use this particular software, but it works extremely well and is quite highly recommended if you have an AirSpy product. If you don't have an AirSpy product, then you can see some of my other videos where I've talked about Dump 1090 that supports RTOSDR. Now, while looking in the AirSpy ADSB application folder, you may have noticed some other files, namely the FlightAware batch file and the actual AirSpy ADSB.exe file. Now, as mentioned before, we started this application using the virtual radar batch file. This is because some of the required application switches at launch. If you want to view the available switches, you can type AirSpy underscore ADSB dash H into a command line window in the AirSpy ADSB directory. Here, you'll see a list of options which you can use to change how the application works. One of the notable options would be adding a dash B to the application switches. The bias T would then be enabled on your AirSpy SDR. Now this is important, especially if you're using an inline low noise amplifier that requires power, or if your ADSB antenna is active and requires power to fully operate. There's also an option to select a specific AirSpy product by serial number. This is very useful if you have more than one AirSpy product connected to the same computer. Also, you can vary the output data format in case you want to use a different third-party application. Well, there we go, guys. A brief overview of the AirSpy ADSB application. Very easy to use, literally plug and play and a couple of clicks. If you've used this before or have another solution which is just as easy, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Now, if you don't own an AirSpy SDR just yet and you're thinking of getting one, then Moonraker have a couple of bundle deals available. The first is the AirSpy R2, where you can get a high quality Panorama ADSB antenna with £30 off. And the second bundle deal is the AirSpy Mini, which is bundled with a multi-band micro mag for receiving ADSB AIS and Airband, and that's with £20 off. Until the next video, guys, take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching.